Hey, I'm Will at Methodical, and today I'm gonna to talk about cleaning your espresso machine and your grinder. First thing is, gotta have the right equipment. All you need is a big bucket, or, you know, I just grabbed a bowl and a big mug full of hot water, for your cleaning solution to dissolve into, an espresso machine cleaning brush, some sort of cleaning solution, powder, I prefer powders, and this is this is Confisa powder, really like that, a flathead screwdriver, short enough to fit underneath your group head to unscrew the dispersion screw, a blank portafilter basket with uh, no holes in them, that way you can back flush the water into the machine to clean it out. And preferably some sort of milk steam wand cleaner. This is Rinza, and if you don't have that, I'm gonna show you a way that you can use Kafiza to clean the tip of your steam wand stick. So first up, I'm gonna put my Kafiza into the water. And this is where you have to be careful. You don't need very much at all. Uh, about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons per liter of water. So I'm just gonna put the smallest little scoop of Kafiza into these containers of hot water. And I'm gonna stir it up. Okay. So after your cleaning solution is dissolved into the water, first thing is the porta filter you have to disassemble uh, all the components here to put them in the cleaning solution. So you have to take your, your basket out first. And I go ahead and put that in there. And then there's also a little spring inside your portafilter that holds the basket in. I like to take that out. And then the metal part of the portafilter, I like to put upside down into a solution, making sure that if you have like a rubber or a wooden handle, that isn't going to work well with water, just be careful about that. So I put that in there just slightly enough to dissolve that coffee. The next thing I want to do is take my screwdriver and there is a screw and a screen under here and I'm going to unscrew the dispersion screw, take off the screen and put both the screw and the screen in the solution. Okay, see? I'm just gonna to wanna to kinda of rinse this out, scrub it out, just kinda of, just kind of loosely. I turn this on, and I'm gonna scrub the gasket around the edges here. And I'm gonna take my clean towel, and I'm gonna wipe off the block that is behind the dispersion screen in the group head here. So this is where, if you don't have a steam wand cleaner, you can unscrew the tip of this steam wand and put the tip of the steam on in this solution as well. And then just make sure that you rinse it out really well when you're taking everything out. So my next step that I'm gonna do is called back flushing. And it is where I take my portafilter, okay? And I rinse it off really well. And you're gonna to wanna to put the blank portafilter basket in here. Some people have a second Porta filter lying around. Some people use the same porta filter. So I took my porta filter out of the solution and I took the screen out of the solution and I rinsed it really well. And I put that back in because that is actually what holds your basket. Once I have my blank porta filter basket in there, I'm going to want to put a really small amount of Kafiza or any of your cleaning solution powder into the portafilter basket. Super small amount. That's like half a teaspoon right there. I've rinsed off my dispersion screen and my dispersion screw really well. I'm going to put it back into the group head before I back flush. And for this, it's really important that you don't over tighten it. When I'm doing it, I usually just tighten it by hand and once it's hand tight, 
that's enough. If you over tighten it, you might bend the dispersion screen and that'll kind of mess up your espresso as well. You don't want to back flush your espresso machine, like I'm about to do, without the dispersion screen being in your uh, group head first. Because if you do, what you're risking is some of these little cleaning granules from the powder are actually able to get back into your espresso machine and they can cause clogs and, and then your espresso machine won't pull espresso right and, and you'll be wondering what's going on. And that might be a big part of it. I wanna put that in there and then I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna leave it on for 10 seconds and then turn it back off, wait a few seconds and I'm gonna repeat that five times. And when I'm done with my 10 seconds on, a few, a few seconds off pattern, I'm gonna take the portafilter out and what I'm gonna do is purge the group head here, rinse off my portafilter really well, and then I'm gonna scrub the group head a little bit with my espresso cleaning brush and wipe it down some with a clean cloth. Okay, so when I'm done doing that, my portafilter is all clean, there's no residual uh, cleaning solution on the surface of the group head. I'm gonna put the portafilter back into the group head and I'm gonna do the same thing I just did, except for now it's no Kefisa. Because what we, what we did previously, that back flushed cleaning solution back through the pipes of the espresso machine. And now what we wanna do is rinse that out really well because if you don't, the cleaning solution does have a, a chance of hardening up with the heat of the espresso machine and, and clogging up your lines. So I'm gonna turn this on for 10 seconds and then off for a few seconds, five more times. Okay, so when I'm done purging the group head, I'll take the portafilter out, give it one more good purge here, just to flush it out, and we should be good to go there. So next up is the steam wand. And I have some Rinza uh, steam wand cleaner here take about 500 milliliters of water in a 20 ounce milk steaming pitcher. And for every 500 milliliters of water, you wanna put about 30 milliliters of this solution in. So once I have that solution, I'm gonna put this in the steam wand, turn the steam wand on, get it purged out, and then I'm gonna let it sit there for about five to 10 minutes. So five to 10 minutes later, I'm gonna remove this from the steam wand. I'm gonna to need to have a steam wand towel on hand. And I'm gonna clean the steam wand off and purge it out really well. Just to make sure I don't have any residual liquid left in there with the cleaning solution. Then I'm gonna insert my porta filter back into the group head. And next, every special machine is different. Most of them have drip trays here. I like to remove the drip tray and uh, take it with me, go wash it off in a sink with warm water. Usually there's nothing major you have to do with this. And then if you have a uh, spouted kettle or a clean milk pitcher that you can fill up with water, pour it in here and kind of rinse out the receptacle right here of any, any coffee grinds or whatnot. Cafes, I guess, would be a little bit heavier duty on those, but you can usually remove those, take those with you, and go clean them out. And so after I've cleaned the group head, I have soaked all my stainless steel components in my cleaning solution. I have cleaned the steam wand, just generally kind of polished everything up. Whatever's left in your cleaning solution, you would take it out, go rinse it off really well and put everything back how it was and you'll be good. Let's move on to the grinder. Every grinder is different. So don't pay so much attention to the technicalities of exactly what I'm doing, think about more the principles of what I'm saying. So when it comes to cleaning your grinder, if you're a busy cafe, you're obviously cleaning your grinder at the end of every shift, and then you probably have a more intensive cleaning at the end of every week or month. If you are at home, it might not be so rigorous, but I think the same principle should take place. So that essentially, what you're gonna wanna do at the end of every day we like to take the coffee out of our hoppers, 
put them in vacuum sealed containers and brush out the remaining coffee grinds. We have a little vacuum designated for the grinders themselves where you can get a vacuum in there and suck out anything that you can't get out otherwise. And what I like to do at the end of the day is close this tab at the bottom of this hopper here, which that'll look different for different grinders, but essentially you should be able to take the hopper off of most grinders. So I took the top off there with the tab closed. I've taken it off with the tab open before, and I'll never do that again, hopefully. But when I take this out, there's still some coffee in the top of the grinder here. I'll usually get a spoon and spoon as much as I can out before I purge the grinder through. Okay, so I've purged it out. There's still some residual grinds left at the top of the grinder here. Uh, what I'm gonna wanna do is get a small shop vacuum and just suck that out really quick. And essentially, at the end of the day, if I'm just doing a light cleaning, that's my main goal. It's just to get the coffee out back into airtight containers and then clean out the surface inside of the grinder right here. When it comes to wanting to perform a deeper clean on my espresso grinder, what I'm gonna wanna do is purge the coffee grinder out with grinder cleaning tablets. And you can purchase them off of most coffee websites. And when I use them, I like to use about 40 grams at a time. And all you do is you weigh your 40 grams out. I have 40 grams right here. You put them in your coffee grinder, free of coffee, obviously, and you purge all the cleaning tablets through the grinder. And that's just kind of cleaning out your burrs. And then after that, you're gonna to want to put about 40 grams of coffee beans in your grinder and purge that out before you're ready to actually use the grinder again so you're not getting any cleaning stuff in your grinders when you're drinking. So I'll put these right in here. And I will purge that out. Okay, bear with me here. I'm gonna pretend like we're like opening up the coffee shop again. I'm gonna put my hopper back on. I'm gonna open this tab up. And before I use it, this priest was kind enough and they left a note for me saying, grinder just clean, make sure to purge your coffee out. So I'm gonna purge the coffee out. Like I said, about 40 grams. So that's like about two doses of coffee. Okay, and when I'm done purging my coffee grinder out, I will pull a shot and see where I am. Maybe I'll do a little dialing in, I'll be ready to go. So essentially, that is the light cleaning of your espresso grinder. There's a lot more detail-oriented, uh, technical situations you might be able to get yourself into, but at the end of the day, if you are taking your coffee beans out of the hopper, purging that out, vacuuming, making sure there's not tons of coffee dust inside and all around your coffee grinder. And every once in a while, grinding those cleaning tablets through your coffee grinder to, to really purge out and clean the burrs, then you're gonna be in pretty good shape.